Warmed up now. I guess they're warmed up now. So first song is Like a Lady, which Decently is... straightforward 11. Yeah, um, the song sounds really intense though, but uh, the chart is a solid 11 by Ben Pai. It's got a few crossovers. A few crossovers. It's got a few brackets too. I was gonna say, those, uh, those hits that you can hear in the song, you could definitely hear them in the preview music here. Okay, so in this pool, uh, DMAC is the top seed, third seed, and the backer is the low seed in the in the pool. Well, they're both great players, and we'll see how they stack up. It is a tournament, so anything can happen. It's true. Qualifying is one thing when you have, you know, the leisure, you have your, your leisure to grind out songs and improve them as much as you can here on when you have to do your best on command in a tournament setting that's always extremely difficult and it could you could be tested on any number of different skill sets as well that's right charts pretty straightforward so far both of them are neck and neck first of many brackets there neither of them seem to have trouble For those that don't know, uh, brackets are when you have to hit two panels on the pad with one foot. It's called a bracket because the middle of your foot rests on the brackets between the panels. Trying to make sure that we have info for everyone in the stream. And if you're new to dance games, which a lot of people here in the tournament um, and at the venue are. A lot of people for whom this is their first tournament I've talked to. Yeah, that's a great thing about these uh, tournaments. You always have incoming freshmen, you always have yeah, new members. Of the... Ooh, yeah. Oh, isn't that great? Joy's far from over. Both FFC, those 24s. go with the crossovers. Yep. That'll probably be a deciding factor. They are still extremely close. Oh, see? Yeah, you have switched to DMAC. So close. And DMAC wins it out just in that one crossover at the end was able to pull ahead. see the, the step break down here. That was extremely close though. And this is a match between a third seed and a 15 seed. Mm -hmm. So the level of competition is super intense here. Everyone here is really good. So yeah, the difference, you know, even though the score weights are changed so that uh, misses wouldn't normally hurt you as much as they normally would. Sorry? I'm not sure. That was a nail biter. That was. But yeah, just one miss will set you back enough, maybe, you know. Yeah. I'll make it close for any. D Mac picked up that miss really early on, but mm -hmm. uh, towards the end, had the better FA and ended up uh, very speaking consistent out of victory on there. Yeah. yeah, very consistent on the crossovers as opposed to uh, feedbacker. So next we have Deceptive. Which I don't think I have any Fun notes little for. 10 from Valix. Oh, no. Is it uh, Valix 10? No, no, it's Valix an actual 10. 10. It's an actual 10, okay. Valix 10 means it is actually an 11, which happens time and time again. We love Justin, but we argue about his chart rating sometimes. As, as we do. That's as, the community. As the community does. Let us know in the comments uh, what you think Cartoon Hero should be rated. <laughs> if it were on the A if scale. If it were on the A scale. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Uncharted is straightforward so far. Living true to an actual tent, not a Valix tent. Both players are being very consistent. They're currently tied. The mech drops, drops are great there. Well, in this part, all you have to do is listen to the lyrics. <laughs> yep. Eurobeat is fantastic. Mods is uh, tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. Probably in the morning. Reckon around noonish. Okay. Very tricky, those uh, 12th up arrow jacks. Very easy for some players to uh, get a miss there. Neither did, though. Feedbacker coming out of the 12th section ahead. Seems similar to the last song. DMAC might be stronger on FA, but those misses and, uh, or that miss and those grades will cost you. Although now he's dropping a few excellence there. Ooh, with the mine. Backer Got it. it wow. One and wow. one. So we will see the third song. We will see Quake. Thank you. Chief God. Skittles is right behind me, ready I, to see I, it. I, I have rejoined the commentary table at the <laughs> exact perfect moment. Unfortunately, they will probably C mod it. Because <laughs> it I is C moddable in this tournament. Yes. Uh, for, for those who are unaware, Quake is a, Quake is a song that, uh, a type of song that I'm very fond of charting lately. It's a, uh, it has what I, what I refer to as an atypical BPM change, not just a straight doubling or halving for the sake of increased difficulty. The, uh, the first, I want to say, 60%, maybe even more of the song um, runs at 130 beats per minute, and then towards the end of it, it does, uh, over the course of a measure, to slowly increase up to 150, um, and ends on uh, some fun little foot switches and crossovers. Um, crossovers, uh, crossovers is a theme that's definitely... Uh, present throughout the entire chart. Uh, there's a few Afro Novas even. Um, but what really got me going when I first heard this song was that uh, that speed up. But it is C moddable in this tournament. Um, and I would be lying if I said it did not make it significantly easier to play. But regardless, so. they still have the time. It helps visual players, but that's still a tricky thing to do as yes. the song gradually speeds up. And yes. even though it's c moddable, that does not make it easy in the slightest. No, no. no. You still gotta know what you're doing. Uh, if you if you try to cheat some of the tech, uh, I might be a little a little bold to say, but if you cheat some of the tech, there are some it'll fast, wear you out. fast isolated foot switches in the second half where if you really kinda especially the up arrow foot switches, if you let up just a little bit, it's very easy to get a miss to not pull your foot off the up uh, panel in time to get your other foot down on it directly after. So we'll see that. Some tricky crossovers. In my opinion. I mean I think they're tricky. I'm just gonna I have to I'm just gonna have to remain a little quiet on this song because uh, I'm gonna be honest, this is one of the uh, one of the charts I'm most proud of. This is in the Bimani Beat 6 uh, public beta teaser pack, so if you uh Again, I'm gonna have to throw in a plug for that. There are some great charts in there. Absolutely. Completely not even like just saying that because of Quake. Like, there's some good stuff in that. Pack. 24th first half jump. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Neither had trouble with it, though. Yeah. Hosang seemed to have trouble with a step jump, step jump earlier on. Yep, when I made that, I was like, this might be a little too rude. And then I did it anyway. This is uh, this is also a, uh, a forced slowdown at this point, um, but the rhythms are fairly simple. Uh, there's some cute little crossovers or Afro movements in there, but I mean, this is a pretty relaxed bar, all things considered. All right, looks like D-Max holding a pretty solid lead yep. this entire song. He uh, still rocking that gold combo. But depending on if he's ready for those foot switches, it's very easy to you know get a miss or two. There's the speed up. Now we're at the uh, we're at the 150 section. Foot switches in the crossover. It's so beautiful, you mean? 
Yeah, that's very tricky. Definitely a very different feel from the first half of the chart. Yes, it's uh, it definitely just turns itself on its head, and it, it's. I just really like this song, guys. I'm sorry. Dmac doesn't seem to be having any trouble. Yeah, Dmac just really picked up one arrows miss right there at the end. But it wasn't but enough to solid. throw the match. No so there, he pretty he song pretty and match goes to Dmac. Held on to that one. Mm -hmm. Dmac picking up the win.